Hello everyone, it's Karina. Welcome back to my channel. I have a collective crafty haul and most of this is dyes, so I'm super excited. But yeah, um, let me get started. I did my first order on scrapbookpal.com and it was because they had the new Tim Holtz Sizzik dyes um, that he just came out with. Uh, this first die is called Collector. I love this manila envelope and it comes with like an ATC card, these labels, a star, some tags, this medallion, tickets, these number dies. And I shared this on my Instagram story. Look how cute that is. This next one is called a specimen and it comes with this cute file folder, um, this tab, some numbers, uh, these labels, these words say specimen, collect, filed, archive, recorded, series, and then a bunch of those numbers. I hope you can see that. This one is called a postal. It comes with this cute envelope and a letter set. You get a bunch of those arrows. You get the numbers and the stamps, some sentiments. On Tim Holtz demo video, um, it does show that you do get the shadow for the hand and I thought that was pretty cool. And since it was my first order, they give you a freebie, which I got this double-sided tape 30 yards long. And I always need some tape, so I thought that was really nice of them. I also went to Crafts Warehouse. I always like to look at their clearance items. They have such good deals. These ones weren't on clearance though, but they're these Lawn Fawn dies. This one is called Canvas and Easel. I also got art supplies. And I love the little splatters and the paint brushes. It also comes with layering pieces for it and the little paint tube I just thought that was adorable picked up some of the Tim Holtz embossing folders uh, this one is called mechanics and this was on clearance for five dollars I just love that pattern I also got circuit the back. It's kind of hard to tell with the glare. But I thought these would be cool for Halloween. Um, I did share this one on my story uh, because it was such a good deal. It was $3 and I have a lot of projects in mind for this one. It is called Paper Village Number no. 2. I got this treehouse die by Kath Breen and this is also $3. I got this rainbow die set for 25 cents. I thought that was such a great deal and couldn't pass it up. I also got some of their enamel dots and these were on sale for $3. This one is from Cartabella and it goes with the road trip collection. I got this one from Cartabella. Like it coordinates with their farmhouse collection. These are like the perfect fall colors. And then I got this summary set. Um, it's Simple Stories. Um, Summer Lovin' is the collection. That's everything from Crafts Warehouse. I also did a order on eBay from a seller, which I will link down below if you're interested, mainly to get this die right here. It's the Tattered Banners. This is such a cool die. And I did have Halloween on my mind, so. Look at the edges, that's so cool. I picked up this die set um, by Tim Holtz. It is called Laboratory, and I love that it comes with the little shelves and a bunch of these cute little glass bottles. This is gonna be so fun to play with. Um, I also got the Tim Holtz Movers and Shapers mini jack-o'-lantern set. And this cute little basket, it's so adorable. This is going to be fun to assemble. I 
also did a small order from a cherry on top I got this layered flower die and this is actually called small tattered florals and it's a definitely a must-have die I got this fun die set it's called crystal ball it's so cute and I got um, the domes for it as well that's gonna be fun to play with this stuff is from Joann's I picked up the Tim Holtz Distress watercolor cardstock comes with 20 sheets I bought this to try out it's their Distress cracked leather cardstock I have a bunch of the Distress inks but not their oxide so I really wanted to build up my collection I got this super cute color it's called speckled egg I love 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 that color um, I got the spun sugar and I got pumice stone I don't have any of their paints so I was excited to find this one with the basic colors um, this one is called walnut stain picket fence and black suit I heard that these are permanent you can use it on multiple surfaces and it has a matte finish okay yeah so it says um, these special paints are reactive with water for a variety of distress techniques on projects used with stamps, stencils, brayer, brushes, paper, wood, fabric, metal, and more. Distress paint is permanent when dry. I got their Distress Spray Stain, which I don't have any of these as well. I got it in Gathered Twig and Hickory Smoke. I also stopped by Hobby Lobby and that's kind of where I got a lot of things. <laughs> These were definitely enabled by Brie, um, with Love Brie. I saw her haul this butterfly die and it comes with a bunch of little pieces to layer on. I kind of like intricate dies like this. I think it's relaxing to um, put it all together. So I thought I would give this a try and they do have 40% off dies right now. I think all the way until the 22nd. I got this floral die which is called Bold Flowers and I got this one because it does come with bigger flowers. Um, I got this set which says Birthday Witches and it's called Birthday Florals. I actually didn't see that it also came with the sentiment, so that's a plus. I love these lavenders. I also got this floral dye, and I love these flowers. Um, this one is a little different than the other flower dyes. So this one you piece one by one. But look how pretty the end result is. I love the sample they used. and. I love the hollow leaves, those are pretty. I got some of their stacked dies. Um, this one comes with the stars and hearts. Um, I don't have this shape part in my stash, so I thought this would be pretty handy. I also picked up this flower stacked die and it comes with six pieces. This would be really cute for like a mini album. I picked up this square stack die and I love the different um, sides they have. So this one's like a scalloped. You get this really thin square die. This one has some cross stitching on it. This one has some like a circle, mini circles on there. This one has a stitching detail on it. Just a regular square and then this one here. And now for the Tim Holtz thing, I got two of their flower dyes. So this one is called Bloom and it's part of their colorized set. And it comes with 17 dyes. So it 
comes with the layering pieces. I got this one, which is their Breaststroke Flowers number two. Super pretty. I also got their, it's called Alpha Numeric Varsity. And I love that it comes with the outside layering piece. So you get that. Super fun. I really, really wanted this dye. And I saw a bunch of cute projects done with this. And I have a lot of flower dye, so I can make like a basket. Or for Halloween, I saw someone put a pumpkin on there. They also have a smaller pot dye that you can use with this. And I really want to get that dye, but I'm waiting for like a sale. Um, they don't have that one at Hobby Lobby. I got some of their 3D embossing folders. I got this one called Cobblestone Number 2. And look how cool that is. And this one I got for the village die. I feel like it'd be so cute for the houses. And I also got this one. And this one is called Mini Lumber. This one is called Winged. So the Tim Holtz products were also 40% off. So I did get just one of the Distress Oxide sprays. I might go back to get more colors. Um, this one's Carp Pumpkin and Mustard Seed. Um, I was super excited for this one. This was the last one um, at my Hobby Lobby. It's the Mica Stains and you get these beautiful colors. This one is Antique Bronze, Brushed Pewter and Tarnished Tarnished brass. I also got more of their distress inks. So, first is this one, Tattered Rose, and it's such a beautiful pink color. I got Carved Pumpkin for Halloween, Scattered Straw. and uh, rusty hinge i also stopped by dollar tree i got this cute dome this is going to be so much fun to alter i also got some of their wood planks and this one i thought would be cute to do my little village on it comes with six planks I got their little mini glass containers. These are so cute. I got this wooded box to alter as well. I also picked up some of the floral moss. So this one I thought would be cute also for my village to put at the bottom like grass. And this decorative moss. This is a more green color. Comes with a smaller pack but I feel like I'm not gonna need a and lot. That is actually everything that I have to share. I went a little crazy, but I'm super excited for all of these new items, especially for the Tim Holtz stuff. I can't wait to start creating more with those. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.